Create and guitar melody with plugin can be hard sometimes, and a good, really sick guitar melody can take your instrument to the highest level. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create simple and realistic Afrobeat guitar melody in FS Studio 24. Let's have some fun. Set our tempo at 100, and let's load Analog Lab to create our composition. The process is pretty simple. You create your composition, and then after you build the guitar melody on it. Let's go to e piano. There is this preset called takes uh, something that is very nice. Let's use it. Now, let me show you the code. I'll cue requentize. I wasn't on time at all, guys. <laughs> and comment L uh, I just create a C minor and then after I create a E flat major and then I'll go for a G minor and then a F major so now I think it sounds nice but we can transpose the high note of each chord so we can it can sound like darker you see the vibe sounds different the voice thing is different crazy code progression uh, now we go to contact normally to create your guitar melody you can use any contact library that you think is gonna be good so i am you gonna use the evolution infinity and then the preset is gonna be the first clean preset so i'm going to play the melody on my piano so they can sound a little bit more realistic for example let me just show you. Sorry. I think this is a little bit too fast. You see? And then now we're gonna go to the next chord, which is this one. And then the first one is not good, let me record it. And then I think this one right here is a little bit too low, this note. And then this should be a little bit longer. same with the third chord which is a and then the last one is gonna be uh, I think the F major This one is a little bit slow. One thing that made this guitar melody sound interesting is that every single performance sounds different. If you watch the uh, velocity, you will see that they sound different and also i don't try to quantize them on the grid i just leave it like i just play them if there is too much uh distance between the grid and then the note i can just fix it a little bit but you can see that it sounds very nice
now we can definitely go and then add another instrument i think i am going to go to morphine and then use this is one of my favorite preset okay let's record base um let's go to the uh, mini stash let's use this one i can do something very simple can add some wool let's go one two step and then we can do that's why now we are going to load contact again let's clone it and i am going to use another library let's use the very own key this one has a lot of good presets if you want something to lay underneath of your instrumental this is one of the best library to use let's just copy the same chord progression and then we pass it here now i am going to go directly to the drum let's go with some crazy drum i am going to use a smooth kick let's use this one and then we are going to go fill it first time. And now we can definitely try to find hmm let's do something different today uh i might go to bonus and then let's use some compare vibe to start it let's go right here and then we duplicate this like that let's go fire let's use this right here and then we can also use this one We can combine it with some uh afro percussion let's go to the mini stash again and then we can go uh something like that thing like that i think this one gonna sound different Ooh. Now we go to the Afro Bidesh Bondo Volume 2. Let's try to find some conga. Mm -hmm. I think I might use this one uh, right here. 
and also before I take I am going to use this right here put it on channel one and then I am gonna use the kickstart plugin because in my head I have this this effect right here everything I think this will be and then we can add some conga right now let's use it right here not this one I think I want this to be on vintage uh, sorry can do something with this one Now we can just drop a drum feel. Let's go to the Afro Beats and Border Volume Two, and then we go to um um Big Vibe. Let's use this one right here, and then we find a crash. Um, let's go to Suka and maybe use use this right here, and then we have it like that. Let's see that we have it right now like that. It's gonna sound like this, so. You see today I create a different pattern than I create usually. It is a nice Afro beat combined with some compa and maybe kizomba. We can call it like that. You see? And then when you have this. And then one thing that take it to the next level is this right here. with everything and also always remember to add some instrument that's gonna add the soul to your instrumental when you add those pad right here layer on your instrumental they bring something different to your instrumental for example if i play it without those sound good but it feel a little bit empty but when you add this underneath of it that's it thanks for watching i hope now it's easier for you all to create realistic guitar melody in fs studio 24. if you have questions leave a comment down below See you in the next one.